Are you gonna relax on me or are you gonna mess about? Hi everyone, welcome back at last to my channel. Finally finding time to put some stuff together for you guys to help you get started with jump rope. May be distracted by this one a little bit today, but I will persevere. So this video is about rope type. It's important to know that I'm going to focus on the ropes that helped me to meet my goals. So I'm not going to cover every single type of jump rope that exists. There's certain elements of the sport that I don't have an interest in and don't practice and ropes that you need for those things I won't be able to talk about. So for me personally, there's three like clear goals for me and it's always been to learn the freestyle skills. So like all the mic releases, leg crosses, wraps, all that stuff. I've always wanted to learn the, the footwork and get really fast and fancy with it. And then as my journey has gone on, like I didn't start this for fitness, but I've become more interested in the fitness aspect and ropes that can increase the intensity of your session as well. So those are the three aspects that I'm gonna focus on. So I'm gonna start with beaded ropes because if I had to choose one rope to use for the rest of my life, it would be a beaded one. It's the rope I've learned everything on and it's the rope I am most versatile with. So a beaded rope looks like this. You have a nylon cable and then you have beads that are threaded onto it. My beads, the ones that I'm used to and the ones I use the most are one inch beads, but you can also get two inch beads, you can get one and a half inch beads, you probably get other types of beads. From what I've heard, two inch beads are better for things like double dutch, but actually for single freestyle stuff, one inch beads are better. Now, the reason beaded ropes are typically good for beginners and best to learn everything on is because when you're starting out and you're getting used to the coordination of actually having to jump the rope at the right time, you can really feel the rope going around you. When you're holding the handles, you can feel exactly where it is and you can very easily guide it. Whereas something with ball bearings, something like a wire rope, that's going to move really quickly. A wire rope is designed to move almost without you having to do so much. That's the idea so that you can get loads of speed so that if you do do something and move your hands, it can move really quickly. This won't move as fast as a rope like that, but it's really what you need for when you're starting out and learning and also when you're trying to do certain skills that require more control, like a mic release example and it's the same with cross skills this holds its shape really well so this will hold an arc much more easily than a pvc rope as well it's less likely to kink and tangle so beaded ropes are really easy to resize as well so you'll usually get them they'll be too long you'll see that they come with like a, a knot and a washer and that's all thread through the handle and that's how they attach to the handle um, so it's really straightforward, you simply unthread everything, remove the beads you need to and then um, tie a new knot and cut the excess and then when you cut the excess you just want to make sure you burn the end otherwise you won't be able to get this through the washer if you ever want to resize or if you ever want to replace the beads. So speaking of replacing beads, another benefit of beaded ropes is they're much more durable than other types. When you're hitting your rope continuously on the ground, especially if you're on concrete or something like that, it will wear away. But the good thing about a beaded rope is it wears away the beads and you, you won't find the nylon ever snaps because it's the beads that wear away and they protect the nylon. Then what you can do is you can just replace the beads rather than replacing the whole rope. This is a very new rope, but you'll see that the bead is starting to get a bit of wear already there. Um, and you will find eventually the beads really wear down, like to nothing. I'm really bad at changing them actually. I'm very lazy, I just get a new rope. <laughs> but you can really easily just replace them. And it's quite fun, you can get different colors, you can mix them up and yeah. Easy peasy. In terms of fitness as well, so I do think a lot of people start jump rope for fitness. 
they aren't that light so in terms of getting a good workout it's a bit more significant than like a really basic pvc rope you'll get in a sports shop or something that is really really light and flimsy i mean it might be great for getting a bit of speed but it won't be as much of a workout as something like this now just to touch on handles there's generally two types of handles available you've got long ones like this and short handles like this the benefit of short handles is your hands are closer to the rope so you feel possibly a little bit more in tune with the rope that said, there's no room for error in terms of arm placement. You really need to make sure you're reaching far enough for cross skills, for EBs, when you've got your hand behind your back, you really need to make sure your reach is there. Whereas with a long handle, you can get away if you're holding the handle there. You know, there's a lot more room for body clearance. So it depends how you see it really. I think it's okay to learn stuff with long handles and just to get used to the movement, but then go and tighten it up with short handles. And I think it's okay as well to learn stuff with short handles so that you then believe, actually, I can then pick up long handles for a, a more complex sequence and I know I'm gonna ace it because I can do stuff really easily with my short handles. And I know it's something like a mic release, some people would say, well, you've got more room to catch a handle that's long whereas with a short handle you're less likely to catch that on the handle but then you have to be careful because a long handle is heavier and a short handle is lighter so you may find a long handle too heavy to control when doing the mic release whereas a short handle might be easier my first beaded rope had short handles and then it was when I started to learn leg crosses and things like that, I got myself some long handles just so I could unlock them quicker, to be honest. Um, and then more so recently, when it's come to beaded ropes, I only really use short handles. Usually I pick up PVC because I want to do something faster. So both my PVC ropes are five mil PVC. They connect to the handle with a clip like this and you can just resize that and cut off the excess it's quite simple really I like to use my 5mm PVC with short handle for footwork so for all my fancy footwork tutorials you'll see I'm always using this rope I've used 4mm PVC before but I just find it doesn't give enough feedback I still like to feel there's something there and I just feel like 4mm it's like if there's a tiny little bit of wind outside it's a goner and also if it, it it's just that little bit thinner that it kinks and stretches and tangles much more easily and then I have my long handles on 5mm PVC for when I'm doing a bit more of a complex routine maybe something really speedy that has EBs in it whilst I'm shuffling that sort of thing it just I just need that bit that little bit of room for error so I find that perfect and then lastly, I move on to weighted ropes, which you won't see me use as often. I go into most of my sessions wanting to learn tricks and put combos together. And that's what I enjoy the most. And that, believe me, is a workout in itself. But when I want to just work out and focus on it being a workout, then I do love weighted ropes for that. There's lots of different types of weighted ropes out there and I've used a couple of different types. So you have ones which are like this, they're like a crazy thick table. This one weighs like 1.3 pounds and then it has like these sort of handles. And then you also have systems like cross ropes and in the Get Strong set you get like this is the two pounds, and then you've got pound, half a pound, and quarter pound, and you can attach them to the handles, so you can switch them, which is quite good, because you don't have to buy multiple ropes, you get this whole system. They all have a similar effect, ultimately by having to move a heavier weight around your body, you're gonna need to use more of your strength, you're gonna exert more energy doing that, and you're gonna burn more calories, and you've got more potential to build muscle in your shoulders, your arms, and your core as well. I've personally never used ropes with weighted handles. I find it difficult to understand how that would be as beneficial, to be honest. I think when you're looking at weighted ropes, you want the rope to be weighted, not the handles. So yeah.
So that's my ropes. I hope you guys have found this helpful and I will pop in the description box all the details of the ropes that I use and recommend so you can check that out. If you are interested in more videos like this make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video.